Lesson 5, Lotus Leaf Example. In this lesson, we will review an SBF model of a biological system, the lotus leaf. The purpose of this model is to 1. help familiarize you with the different parts of SBF models, and 2. get you more comfortable with the hierarchical structure of SBF models. First, we will review the lotus leaf and how it works. Then, we will review the associated SBF model for its primary function, clean self. In this case, we will also review two subfunction models of the lotus leaf, create superhydrophobic surface, and reduce adhesion. The lotus leaf has the unique property of being self-cleaning. Its superhydrophobic properties allow water droplets, for instance from rain, to beat up into spheres and roll off the leaf taking contaminants with it. The process is demonstrated in the image on the left. An inclined leaf, represented by the green line, begins with contaminants resting on it, represented by the black shapes on the leaf. A water droplet falls on the leaf. The water droplet forms a sphere and rolls down the leaf, adhering to the contaminants. The water droplet falls off the leaf, taking the contaminants with it, leaving the leaf clean. Two functions are primarily responsible for this behavior. The first is the superhydrophobic property of the leaf itself. This is the result of small nanobumps that coat the surface of the leaf and is explained by the high contact angle between the water droplet and the nanobump surface. The cohesive properties of water and the tendency for systems to minimize their energy. This superhydrophobic effect causes the water to form a spherical shape. For the moment, let's not worry too much about the equations. The second function, to minimize surface adhesion with the contaminants, is also provided by the nanobumps. Surface adhesion is directly proportional to the contact area between the contaminants and the surface of the leaf. The nanobumps reduce the contact area and therefore minimize the adhesive forces between the leaf surface and the contaminants. Because the adhesive force between the water and contaminants is greater than the adhesive force between the leaf surface and contaminants, the contaminants adhere to the surface of the water droplet as shown. Now let's see if we can tell this same story using an SBF model. The story we want to tell is about how the lotus leaf cleans itself. The function of the lotus leaf is clean self. The function clean self is described by the initial state of the leaf when contaminants and an objective state without contaminants. It also specifies the external stimulus, a raindrop, added to the system. The structural model for the clean self function of the lotus leaf shows how the system looks at the beginning state with contaminants resting on the leaf surface and a water droplet which is not yet connected to either the leaf or the debris. Note, describing the leaf surface in further detail, that is, the nanobumps, is not yet important, although it will become so for some of the leaf's subfunctions. The behavior provides a step-by-step -step account of the clean cell function of the lotus leaf. State 1, as seen in the function, describes the contaminants on the leaf. State 2, describes a droplet arriving on the leaf by external stimulus raindrop, and the shape of the droplet is spherical by function creates superhydrophobic surface. This is our first subfunction. Later, we will detail how that function is accomplished in another SBF model. State 3 shows the droplet is rolling and is over the contaminants, which occurs because the leaf is an inclined plane, and because the water is spherical, and by the principle of spherical body over an inclined plane. The next state describes the contaminants on the droplet now instead of on the leaf. By the principle of adhesion, which states that if one adhesion force is greater than another adhesion force, the particle will stick to the surface with the greater adhesion force, and by the function minimize adhesive forces, which is the other subfunction in this model. Again, 
We will describe the SBF model for that function later. During state 5, we describe the droplet continuing to roll off the leaf by the same principles and structural explanations as we had in the transition between state 2 and state 3. In state 6, the contaminants are off the leaf because they are located on the droplet which has left. Except for the subfunctions, that's it. We provided a function model and a structure model and a behavior model. Now let's take a look at those subfunctions. This diagram shows the relationship between the primary function, clean self, and the two subfunctions, create superhydrophobic surface, and reduce adhesive forces. Remember, each of these subfunctions are functions themselves and may have complete SBF models associated with them. We will show you the SBF models associated with the subfunctions next. First, we'll show the structure, function, and behavior models of the create superhydrophobic surface model. Then, we'll show the structure, function, and behavior models of the reduce adhesive forces model. Here is the function create superhydrophobic effect. The important aspects of the superhydrophobic effect is that it both reduces the adhesive force between the surface of the leaf and the water droplet and causes the water droplet to form a spherical shape shown in the function model. The structural model of the create superhydrophobic surface consists of a water droplet resting on nanobumps which are attached to the surface of the lotus leaf. This simple behavior model points to two fundamental principles that cause the superhydrophobic effect, minimizing surface energy and cohesion, as well as the necessity of the droplet being in contact with the nanobumps. So that's it for creating the superhydrophobic effect. We detailed the function model, the structure model, and the behavior model. We just finished the SBF models for both clean self and create superhydrophobic surfaces. Now we'll go over a very simple reduce adhesive forces SBF model. In the function for reduce adhesive forces, the function model shows a decline in adhesive forces on a foreign body from the beginning to the objective state. The function minimize adhesive forces applies to any foreign body resting on the nano bumps which are attached to the leaf surface. Note, we are generalizing contaminants from the clean self model to foreign body for this function. It is often the case that structures appear in more generalized forms between models, so one must be careful not to get too caught up in the exact wording for the structures. Likewise, synonyms and more abstract forms for explanations, properties, values, and even functions often exist. Again, this simple model describes the reason adhesive forces are lower because the contaminants are on the nanobumps, because the contact surface area is low, and by the principle of adhesion which states that the surface area is directly proportional to the adhesion force. We have shown now the complete lotus leaf SBF model. We have provided a function, structure, and behavior model for the three relevant functions the top level clean cell function and the subfunctions create superhydrophobic surface and reduce adhesive forces. We hope this example has been instructive in showing how a complex system, such as the lotus leaf, can be modeled using SBF. Hopefully, this also demonstrates how several simple, hierarchically organized SBF models can be used to describe a much more complex system.